make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! In the first video, I talked about Vue.js and how we will continue this new course. For this course, we will use Webpack to understand the complete development flow of a Vue application. In case you're building something more than a medium-sized application, then you probably want to use Vue in the best way. To do this, we need Webpack. I will not explain on this video what Webpack is and what it does for us. For now, all you need to know is that we have to install Node.js. Head on the Node.js website and download the installer for Mac. Once the installation is done, then all you have to do is to open it. And from here it is just continue. So continue, continue, accept the license agreement, click here and then continue again, install. So before we take the next step, I want to show you exactly what is done with this installation. Open your hard drive and now we need to display hidden folders. To do this, just open a terminal and run this command. You will have the command available as a note in this video. So the next step now is to go here to the finder, press Alt and Command and then right click and relaunch the finder. As you do this, you can see now that we have available also the hidden folders. So go to USR and then Local, Lib, and here now we have the node models. If you go inside this folder, you can see that we have available the npm model. Try to run this on your terminal, npm. So if you get this outcome, then everything is okay. You can also get the version of the npm, npm-v, and this will give you the version. Okay, so time to install Vue CLI. Vue CLI is a command line interface that will help us to scaffold Vue.js projects. So let's install Vue CLI first and you will understand what I mean in a second. I will clear everything and then npm install dash g view dash CLI. This flag here dash g will install this model globally so it is accessible from the terminal. Usually you use the dash g flag to install terminal based models like Vue CLI in our case. In my case, I forgot to add sudo at front, so sudo npm install dash g view CLI. So my bad on this. So as I said, we will use webpack for this course. So what you need to do now is to run view init. And here we specify the template name. For webpack, we have available webpack, which will install the full webpack template and we also have webpack simple. For this case we will use the simple one. The difference with the full webpack is that the webpack simple doesn't include testing, CSS extraction and some other things which for now they are not important. So after the template name you just give your project a name. In our case it will be front and the name will be the default one. Description, author, so just press enter. So before I move, before I run these commands here, what I will do is to see where I'm allocated. Okay, so my location is inside users and develop. So I will go there and I will take the project and I will move it to the desktop. Okay, so now we move back to the desktop and I will move inside the front folder. Okay, so the next command, as you can see here, after we move inside the front folder, we run npm install. So this will take some time because it will install all the node models, but it will be done, so don't worry about it. Now that this is done, I will just open my sublime text, file, open, and I will open the front folder. And here is the webpack template. So in the next video, we will dive deeper, but for now, I will just run this project. So I will go back to the terminal, npm run dev. So this will automatically open a new tab in your browser, and here it is. However, before I close this video, I will quickly install Laravel. So I will open a new folder, a new tab, sorry, and I will go back to the desktop and I will run composer create project. You should already know the command. Laravel, Laravel. And then the name of this project will be back, referring to the backend project. 
In the next video now, we will take a tour around these folders here and the files and we will see how we got this view page right here.